This is Nina Curley from WAMDA. I'm chatting with Ferhat Ispajer of Positron, an Istanbul-based mobile solutions company. Ferhat, how are you? I'm great, man. How are you? Excellent. Um, so can you describe to our WAMDA viewers what is Positron and how did you get inspired to start it? Positron uh, is a mobile software company uh, where we design, develop, uh, implement, and guide the mobile strategy for uh, our region's largest corporations. Uh, we especially work with the financial services industry for several years. Uh, we made big disruptions in the sector and uh, we introduced mobile banking in Turkey. Uh, we also now focus on mobile payments and ticketing systems. While uh, in the meanwhile, we also work with uh, big e-commerce companies and carry them to the mobile commerce. So, uh, we can say that you know we are a mobile strategy company with lots of software uh, products uh, that lead big corporations to the mobile space. And it sounds like you're very successful now. Um, how did you land your first big customer? Um, uh, thanks for that. Uh, we still uh, think that we're a young company, uh, but uh, about six years ago when Positron decided on shifting all this technology to mobile space, uh, we started visiting banks because we thought that uh, mobile banking would be something uh, really big uh, in the upcoming years. There was a brief period of uh, trials back in 2001 when the WAP browser technology was uh, introduced, but it did not take off. But uh, we thought that the, with the new smartphone generations, uh, mobile banking would be something really powerful. So we started actually visiting banks in Turkey. Back then, we were just a group of uh, seven people in the company uh, with our co-founders and our uh, engineers back then. We were, and um, finally, we visited the Turkey's largest private bank, Ishbank, and uh, they were interested in the project. They were thinking about offering mobile banking to their users. Uh, to their customers, and uh, they were doing a tender about this. Uh, as we were a young and dynamic company, they were interested in actually at least getting a quote from us. So we prepared uh, the most beautiful <laughs> uh, RFP document we have prepared uh, until that day, and uh, we actually made our proposals uh, for the for the project. It was a few rounds. Uh, we were shortlisted. Uh, they have seen a few uh, successful projects. Uh, done by our team before, but they were still skeptical because we were a smaller team. So it took us a while to, to convince them. And our competitor in that deal uh, was actually a, a, Finland, a Finnish company uh, based in uh, Finland. And uh, they were supported by uh, Miridia, uh, the, the company was called Miridia, and they were supported by Nokia and Accenture, uh, the largest mobile phone company back in the day, and one of the largest consulting firms in the world. So. Uh, uh, it was really interesting for us to have a, such a strong competitor. But at the end of the day, uh, they agreed on purchasing the project uh, from, from Positron. Uh, and uh, we found ourselves signing this deal with the Turkey's largest private bank, over 10 million customers, and uh, almost uh, $100 billion in assets, uh, becoming a Positron customer. When you look at the rise of mobile payment systems in the region, how, how did they gain traction in Turkey? Uh, what we have done, what we have seen in Turkey, of course, uh, PayPal is quite strong in Turkey now, and uh, there's uh, some other players from Europe, like PayU, you might have heard of those guys, and uh, there's some local uh, payment uh, companies in Turkey who are actually active in the payment space. Uh, what we have done so far, actually, we have uh, made this uh, deal with the uh, BKM, uh, it's the Interbank's card center, it's the national switch of Turkish uh, banking system. Uh, founded by 14 different banks. It's like a consortium and uh, we uh, initiated the digital wallet project with them. It's called the BKM Express. And uh, over the last year we have worked on this project and now uh, it's been launched it's been a month and uh, it's an alternative payments platform uh, introduced by of course Positron technology. In less than 15 days, more than 100 merchants signed up, e-commerce companies signed up for this technology, and 15 banks are actually uh, supporting this technology. Mobile banking uh, was a beginning, and the shift towards mobile payments is going to come from these initial applications, such as you know digital wallets or uh, mobile banking applications. But uh, there's still huge room for growth in Turkey because people are very uh, tech-savvy, 
and uh, the penetration of smartphones are increasing day by day. So I think mobile payments is going to be the topic to be discussed over the next five years. And when you look at the market in the Middle East and North Africa, do you see any potential for Positron coming into the region, partnering with banks, building something similar? Um, mm -hmm. uh, actually, um, we are active in the Middle East. Uh, we have an office in Doha, Qatar. And uh, we work with uh, two, two banks uh, in Qatar right now. One is uh, Qatar's, one of the largest banks, Doha Bank. And the second client of ours is uh, Qatar Islamic Bank. And uh, we also work with a, a top five uh, bank uh, in Saudi Arabia. They also uh, recently became our customers. Uh, we're providing mobile banking services for them. And our uh, final uh, customer from the Middle East is a Dubai-based uh, consumer finance company. So we're active in three different countries in the Middle East, uh, uh, United Arab Emirates, Qatar, and uh, Saudi Kingdom, Saudi Arabia. So uh, in the next uh, few years, uh, uh, one of these three countries is going to be a top driver for uh, mobile payments in the Middle East. How are you seeing users um, get comfortable with mobile payments in the Middle East? First, e-commerce has to evolve, and people should learn to shop online. Uh, and then, you know, uh, mobile is introduced. It's, uh, I think there is huge interest. But we still haven't seen a traction uh, like we have seen in the U.S. with a Square or PayPal, like PayPal Mobile. What would you advise an entrepreneur looking to start up in the mobile app space? They need to focus. They need to choose the area of expertise. They need to choose whether they're going to. consumers or what they're going to chase um, and uh, th this is the biggest advice I can give uh, in terms of um, uh, areas of uh, success uh, it's really hard to make money from the consumers right now uh, from mobile space in the Middle East if you want to have a sustainable uh, but not that scalable business go B2B uh, but if you have a really good idea and if you have a very strong team uh, to execute that idea to the consumer gaming is very uh, competitive but you know you can also grow on a global scale because uh, Arabic language is spoken in 600 million by 600 million people so it's a huge market so Online gaming and mobile gaming is uh, where there's future growth is going to be uh, attained. And um, um, of course, the enterprise space is very important. So um, to, to cut it short, you know, I think any entrepreneur who are actually getting into the mobile space, they need to focus and they need to choose their area of expertise. Thanks so much for sharing your insights with us and chatting with Wanda. Thank you.